Hey everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, SoCal Shave. So we're gonna get into another uh, shaving video here before I head back out on the road. Unfortunately, things have not been going uh, as planned with work. So uh, every every video I did where I said I was doing a shave before I head back out, loads were either delayed or canceled. That's what happened yesterday, and here we are again, hoping that I get a load out tonight around eight o'clock. Um, fingers crossed let's hope that that goes that way today is shoot i already lost track i think today's thursday around three o'clock in the afternoon i'll be picking up a load of, uh eight o'clock tonight um i believe it's thursday or wednesday shit with all these canceled and de delayed loads i already lost track so forgive me guys i'll try to remember to make a note on screen here so you can already tell by the uh title of the video what i'm going to be using here today um just wanna, you know, try to get through some, some samples and stuff that I have uh, accumulating here, uh, before it gets uh, too uh, crazy out of hand. So, we'll be getting in with the uh, Wilkinson Sword Classic again. Um, I had a nice shave with this last time. I was pretty impressed. Um, there you guys go. Two piece razor. Uh, there you guys go. Uh, a pretty uh, pretty mild razor. I've got uh, 24 hours worth of growth on my face, so I figured, you know, let's see what it can do. Uh, I do want to get a shave in um, before I head out, like I said. I'll be using the, um, I was told these are called the Black Beauties, the Treat Black Beauties. Um, these are the Treat uh, Carbon, Carbon Blade, Black Carbon, so if I'm not mistaken, I guess it's got a few names. So I'll be using that blade here today. It's got, uh, this will be the second shave on it. These are the blades. This is the way the uh, blade pack comes in, uh, comes in, or the little envelope. I don't have the um, the little carton that it comes in. Uh, that was uh, one of the piffs, or not a piff, uh, well yeah, piff, uh, from Ken Serves when he sent over the uh, Wilkinson Sword Razor. So let me go ahead and load this now. So I hope you all are well. I'm feeling better now, thankfully. Uh, I was uh, feeling pretty crappy. Oh, I didn't even show you guys the blade in there. Uh, without cutting my fingers here. I was feeling pretty crappy uh, the last couple days. There you guys go. I was feeling crappy, uh, pretty crappy the last couple days and uh, it seems that um, it's fine. I finally got it under control. No overhang. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, so I'm feeling good. Um, so I hope you all are well. Not, not gotten any of the bug symptoms out there. I'm gonna be using uh, uh, skull boss, skull busters, skull busters, and this is Kumbaya, and a very very small sample. Uh, we'll see what we can do with the sample. Hopefully we can get through the shave with this. Um, I will be matching it up with this aftershave here. I think it would pair nicely. Um, I was talking to uh, Tony Tony the other day about this uh, soap. It smells to me like a, like a scent of pineapple puree with a hint of vanilla um, and a bit of... Um, I forgot the other scent. Damn, I forgot what it was called. If I remember, I will, I will uh, let you guys know. Uh, and uh, it's the one that they make the, it's like the Nutella chocolate out of. Um, I'm gonna be going with my Omega Mighty Midget today. And uh, let's get into it. So hopefully um, I have a good shave here today. I normally don't do a 24 hour worth of growth shave because my facial hair can't take it, but given how mild this razor is, you know, fingers crossed that it goes well. So just centering it down on the bottom of my bowl here. The whole sample came out. And hopefully I don't forget, but I forgot to show you guys the balm I'm gonna be using. It seems like I'll have enough of the sample here. I've heard a lot of good things about this um, 
about this soap and from what I understand uh, Kumbaya is uh, their top one of their top sellers and we shall see so there it is fixed down at the bottom of the bowl there and um, my bomb, aftershave bomb of choice today will be this here. Uh, don't even know how to pronounce it. Zara, 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 uh, whatever. Uh, this was um, actually a gift, a Christmas gift that came with that Omega. That uh, um, Omega um, Parasol, Omega Professional. Um, uh, it was a little trifecta here. It's uh, aftershave bomb face scrub and a non lathering shave gel um, so we'll use that in the future just you know just to put some use to it uh, it's a very simple scent nothing crazy um, the aftershave balm really doesn't smell like much but the uh, lathering cream uh, or the lathering cream the shave gel has actually got a nice scent to it um, not so much uh, the uh, face the face wash so that will be my aftershave bomb here today and see you know just to put it put it to some gayness and hopefully we can get something out of it so let's get into this here and let's start loading this soap or loading this brush excuse me yeah so i've heard um Heard a few good things about this, about this soap, so I'm hoping I get a good experience out of it myself. I just don't like having things sit without me actually really using them, you know. Just now, I got out the shower and used the um, soap samples that was sent over from Erica over at um, at Stash Soap Works. I used that amber one. And uh, had a had an okay shave with it. Um, not the best of um, um, soap um, suds from it. I actually had to work at it quite a bit. Yeah, so this is actually looking quite airy at the moment I could possibly that I added too much water to it but we shall see here on this channel we don't give up that easy Yeah, it's actually looking pretty, pretty airy. Almost as uh, something like the um, way Williams lathers up. It's lathering, but uh, let's see if we can get a little bit more of uh, the air to dissipate there. Yeah, so I may have added too much water. Let's go ahead and whip it up back and forth here and see if we can get some of this air out of the lather. And you know what? It's actually looking quite nice now. Okay. I think I just needed to uh, work it in some more. Yep. It looks... It's looking good, I believe. down on the bowl we'll go with that here let's see what this can do freaking here yep 
Yeah, so I'm just gonna try to take it easy. Uh, since I don't have, uh, since it hasn't been long since I shaved, which like I said is uh, 24 hours worth. And skin doesn't really take a liking to shaving this close. In time frame so the scent I dig the scent whipped up pretty quick and let's see how it does This was a sample that was sent over from uh, <clears throat> you know what I forgot who sent it over forgive me if you're out there watching and you know if this is you let me know Right off the bat, it's slick, cleans off the razor nicely. Sounds like the wife just got home. Went to go pick my daughter up from school. What's going on? Now the soap doesn't make the thickest of ladders, but still good nonetheless. <clears throat>
I was having a talk with Alex or uh, Tony, excuse me. On uh, what I like about this razor is it being a plastic, it gives the um, the soap that you're using that extra oomph, you know, because um, it feels really good with the slickness. Even uh, Leroy had mentioned um, he didn't get on with it either. He said he was going to give it another try. And I hope you do, buddy. Let me know how you, how you get on with it. I think it all just depends on the... Um, the blade and razor combo that you use. Because that truly does make a world of difference. dig the scent though I would pick it up for the just for the scent alone the freaking hair <clears throat> sorry guys now it has gone away a little bit like I said it doesn't uh, doesn't really lather up uh, thick enough. Doesn't dissipate, which is good, but um, definitely not thick enough, like uh, some might like. But as you can see, it, it um, rathers up really quickly. Oh. Plus, remember this is a really small nut. Third pass against the grain.
Now, since I got a good shape from it the other day, the BBS, and since I know this is a mild resin, it does take quite a bit of buffing, I'm gonna just do a DFS today. Since I know that this razor can do the job and do the job nicely. I just want to get a an okay shave out of it. All I'm doing right now is getting rid of the, the most uh, noticeable. So I'm gonna rinse off, I'll be back. All right. So I just did my warm water, cold water rinse. I'm gonna get in with Elm. All right, let me rinse this up, we'll be back. That was freaking awesome. So let's get in with the aftershave. <sighs> Run Runner from West Coast Shaving. This was an aftershave and soap set that was made for, for uh, West Coast Shaving by Douglas Smythe. At Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Yeah, what an awesome scent. Yeah, I think it uh, complements the soap quite nicely. Like to get it in the hair. Freaking awesome. And let's get in with the aftershave bomb. Go with that.
It's got to little to no scent on the bomb. I could even describe the scent. Almost like an aloe vera kind of scent. Very, very minimal. Very hard to pick up. But let's see how it does. Might have some really good properties of healing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't have all you want. Let me see. It might be hard to pick up because of the uh, reflection. Um, it's going to be very hard to pick up, but maybe you can take a snapshot of that and make it out. There you go. But. I'm not going to read all that stuff. If it works, it works. But, all right. So let's recap here. Went in with the uh, Wilkinson Sword Classic. That was generously uh, gifted to me by uh, Ken Surfs. Uh, along with the blades he had sent over, which was uh, two of these here, where they treat uh, black carbon, or also known as the black beauties, as a... Uh, one of my viewers had mentioned so thank you buddy for that uh, for that tip that blade comes in one of these envelopes the soap of choice today was kumbaya from skull busters and i really dug the scent really dig it uh, i actually really love the scent um, the soap performed nicely um, not your your um your norm uh thick lather um will i pick it up yes i'd pick it up uh, soap I can recommend. It's nice and slick, um, very protective. Uh, it didn't dissipate, um, but it didn't um, give that thick lather, so that's why I didn't have enough uh, left in the bowl. Plus, uh, I didn't load enough uh, with a small little badger. Not like the ba this is actually a badger and boar, uh, the mighty midget Omega. Um, but I was lathering it up. I was lathering it as if I was lathering your uh, every other soap or standard base soap so uh, I thought I had enough in there but didn't but still a good soap I would purchase it myself I would definitely pick that up in the future went with the aftershave here and this is rum runner number 17 from West Coast shaving and the artisan behind this is Phoenix uh, Phoenix artisan accoutrements Douglas Smythe there you guys go so that is that there that is my shave guys I hope you guys enjoy that um, don't have much sample left there but really really enjoy that that was a fantastic shave hope you guys enjoy thanks for joining me and i uh, hope to see you guys on the next one you also say about that later guys